Hi, Nathan Davis here for Cryptid Studies Institute or CryptidSI.org. Today's video is about the taking down of Sasquatch Ontario's uh, channel and uh, basically the childish behavior of those basically on both sides. I mean, I, the venomous comments I've gotten. Uh, really don't shock or surprise me because I've been dealing with uh, the Bigfoot community you know for 13 years uh, so it doesn't shock me or surprise me at all but uh, it doesn't win people over to the side of Sasquatch Ontario when there's so much infighting over this subject uh, first off and I never once said he was a hoaxer or put him down I never called him anything but I digress this is more about those on the other side that disagree with him. Um, it's fine to disagree with a fellow researcher, uh, whether you think he's a hoaxer or not because you don't uh, like the content of his videos or find his content to be out there. Um, but we have to realize that all of our research to the general public is out there because most people uh, within the you know the world are under the impression that Bigfoot is a myth. Uh, though the numbers of people that believe or know they exist does grow. A lot of the reason people say they don't believe may be related to peer pressure or not wanting to be ridiculed. But to sit there and flag his videos for copyright infringement, which was the reason his channel was taken down. He does have a backup with a few videos, um, but to do that, I think is childish and unnecessary. If he's hoaxing, if he's fraudulent, then the eventuality is it will come to light and he will lose all credibility. Um, so there's no reason to sit there and do that type of thing. Plus, I don't understand why people want to waste their time so much to first off, you know, sit there and, and you know, name call and, you know, post venomous comments and not really add anything to this discussion, but also why somebody would waste their time going through somebody's videos and flagging them all. Uh, that is hate at a different level. I mean, I, for me, I, I, I look at it because I want to either, I want to find validity to it, or I want it to basically know if there is some truth to what he's putting out there or not. And I'm on the fence. You know, I'm not somebody that's jumped to one side or the other. Um, I did say that, you know, there were certain things that just didn't add up based on my own um, experiences, which are quite extensive, and those of fellow researchers that go into psychic and paranormal areas. But for somebody to take that time out of their life, to just be hateful and towards somebody that the majority of people don't know about, you know, he isn't, you know, somebody that's influencing the world as a whole. Um, I just don't understand. I don't understand the point. Uh, and I don't understand why, if you disagree with his research so much and you're not really adding anything to the discussion other than to troll, um, what you get out of it. I mean, I, I don't understand that. And it really says a lot about your life if you don't want to add anything to the discussion, if you don't want to participate um, in the dialogue, all you want to do is just spew hate and then, you know, act in a childish manner like this. 
what it really does for you. Um, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. And it's, it's not what we need as a community as a whole. Every community has this. I mean, the internet community as a whole has this. But it seems like this has been predicated within the Bigfoot community for a long, long time. And it just, there's no mending fences, there's no coming together and, and creating a dialogue. I've tried to do that on a number of occasions, uh, but people just do not want to work together. And then the vicious attacks, it just, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, really. We're all here because we either believe or we know they exist. We're all a part of this community because there's a commonality there in just that fact alone. Um, as far as the differences in perspective of what they are and everything, I, I just I don't understand the infighting. And I don't understand why people are so hateful that they would do that. Uh, to a fellow researcher. Agree with him or not. You know, let the man put his stuff out there and if he is not uh, being honest, he will provide the rope to hang himself. You don't need to do it for him and you don't need to sit there and act in this manner to get rid of him. You know, he's not going to go away He and neither are the people that support him by acting in this manner. You're going to more than likely drive more people to him uh, than you are going to pull people away. Uh, have a dialogue, have a discussion. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. If you look at the comments, you know, even when people are throwing venom, those that just look at one video and make a determination, one guy even only watched 10 seconds of one video and made a determination about my character and then started calling me all kinds of names. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm willing to have a dialogue with people and I comment and I'm polite and I just keep it on focus on what we're discussing. I don't understand why we have to go into personal attacks and I don't understand the childish behavior of why people have to, you know, have his videos and his channel as a whole banned from YouTube. He is back up. He's got a few videos, like I said, but um, that's got to be tough. I mean, I, I just don't understand it, guys. You know, grow up. Thanks for watching.